Hey there YouTubers, All right? So in this video, I wanna talk about the importance of installing your 12th gen CPU correctly. You can see in here uh, damage that has been done by people that have not installed their 12th gen CPU correctly. Uh, these motherboards are, are pretty much a total loss. Uh, maybe somebody can repair this whole thing, but most likely these are these are missing pins it looks like and bent pins. Um, occasionally you might get lucky there's a redundant pin or a pin that doesn't matter. Um, I think in this case though this one's probably wrecked. The one over here to the right far worse it looks like. And so, you know, this is the kind of stuff that happens. Now, of course, uh, you could send this back. Oh, my motherboard doesn't work. Uh, if you're, you know, that unethical, uh, I would think if you destroyed the motherboard, you should, you should eat it. But uh, that doesn't happen. So what you do is you find these motherboards on eBay, tons of them on eBay. Um, and so, you know, people thinking they can repair them uh, might go in there and buy them. If this thing detached easy enough, uh, that would be, you know, something to consider. Like, hey, I can just replace this, but no. Uh, it takes a lot of work to do that. All right, so let's start to get into this. There's going to be a video at the end of me installing the 12th gen. Just the installation of the CPU into here. Not anything beyond that. Uh, not the thermal paste, because this is honestly the most important step, <laughs> is putting this thing in correctly. You can get away sometimes with uh, not the exact amount of thermal paste. Your CPU uh, could run really hot, which is bad, or it could run slightly hot. At least, you know, in those cases, you might figure out, oh, I don't have my CPU cooler seated, blah, blah, blah. But we're just talking about seating the CPU correctly in this video. So, Z690 motherboard here. Now, things to note. Um, the orientation I always like to look at my motherboard in this orientation okay because when we get to our CPU well, let's just bounce around here our CPU has text on it like this okay so you see that we're reading from left to right here that is when we put our CPU in the orientation now this this cover is opposite it, okay so you want this orientation um, for the CPU now there's some other things we'll talk about this triangle on the next shot but uh, let's talk the cover you want to keep this cover on at all times until you uh, have the CPU installed and if you take the CPU out one of the first things you want to do is put this cover back on this protects those pins that you saw got damaged now yours truly did at one time accidentally drop a Phillips head screwdriver into the socket and wrecked it so um, had the plastic cover been on it would have saved its life but oh well all right so here is this triangle right what does this thing mean this is a, a thing that you can basically orient your cpu with you see that triangle uh, of course this example shows that in the corner and one there as well all right that's just another thing to help you orient your CPU. So between the reading left to right in this triangle, you should be off to a good start. All right. So from here, now that we understand how the CPU is going to go in, we want to open this thing up. We're going to press this lever. Okay. And then we're going to push it out to the right and then pull this thing up. Okay. So... If you take the lever all the way back and this bracket, you should be see this kind of orientation of your CPU socket on your motherboard. And now things that I want you to know are these protrusions here, okay, and here. These have cutouts on the CPU, okay. This is the actual CPU here, cut out there, cut out there, okay. When I install this, and this isn't exactly to scale, so things aren't lining up perfect. We'll just cheat it in there a little bit. Um, these notches, you know, and the ones at the top, they'll line up, okay? Uh, this example doesn't really show it that well, but uh, that's what you're looking for, okay? And this thing, this CPU should fit 
inside of this perimeter, okay? So if it is hanging over, that's a bad sign. It's going to sit perfectly in here, okay? If you've got it in right. Um, be gentle, you know. Consider using two hands. Uh, make sure you have good lighting. And uh, make sure that thing is seated in there correctly, okay? So if I were to flip this over, um, this is not going to actually fit, all right? Just so you know. This thing only goes in one way. So there are so many things in here that Intel has tried to do to get people from wrecking their CPUs uh, and their the motherboards. Unfortunately, it still happens. All right, so hopefully you got that. Now let's watch a video on me installing a CPU. Thanks for checking out this video. Hey there YouTube Tracks. In this video we're just going to look at properly installing an LGA 1700 style CPU. So this will also be good for LGA 1800. Basically we're talking Intel's 12th and future 13th gen. Uh, we're not going to put thermal paste on this but uh, what we are going to do is just talk about uh, how to do this properly and what to look for. So let me go ahead and get the light on the camera. I don't have this in macro mode, but I do have it uh, between macro and regular focal length. Things to note here, folks. One, uh, knowing what type of motherboard you have and the corresponding CPU, right? So this is Z690. We know this is good for all the 12th gen Intel CPUs. Uh, maybe not all the engineering samples, but, um, you know, the, the ones that you can go buy at your local Best Buy, Amazon, things like that. What do we note when we're first looking at this? Well, this is our motherboard. Um, you know, looking at this in orientation we are, here's our CPU cover. To the right is all our RAM. And let me move, slide this over a second. To the left of that would be where the I.O. shield is, okay? So over in this area. So let's put this back. So that's really the, uh, in my opinion, the best way to, to look at this, orienting yourself. So you should be looking down at your motherboard in the same orientation as the video. Now, important things to look for on your CPU cover there a lot of times is a triangle okay you can just barely see it right here this is important to help you orient your cpu when you get that in so the cpu and this was more pronounced in other cpus but it has a itty bitty triangle right here okay that's our orientation we want to when we install this, it's going to look just like that in that orientation, okay? Um, sometimes when you flip these over, you may also notice some things, but uh, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera. There's an itty bitty little speck there. I have to get the lighting just right so you can see it. Um, that corresponds with that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Hopefully I won't hit the camera. So what we're going to do is press down and then away. And then bring that all the way up and back. And I realize I'm zoomed in pretty far, but uh, hopefully you guys get that. Now I can lift this up, okay, and all the way back and leave it sit there. All right, so if we have the wrong CPU, and let's just grab one that is wrong. Um, hopefully you can tell by the size that it's wrong. That one would not work at all, okay? Now one that will work, once again, here's this guy. This is gonna be difficult for me to do with the camera uh, this close in, but we're gonna do it. So we want to, like I said, orient that. Remember where our triangle was on the cover. Uh, sometimes it's on the motherboard. 
So we want to drop this in ever so slightly, okay? And if you can use two hands while you're doing it, all the better. If you don't have steady hands, I suggest you get somebody else to do this. Now the most important thing to do is not jam this thing in there. And it's not, I can tell right now, it's not necessarily sitting in there the way I want it. So what we want to notice here, folks, is there were grooves in the motherboard itself for the socket. They line up with the CPU at the top and the bottom. There is no way for me, if I were to rotate this 180 degrees, and I'm going to pull it back out of here a second, just so you can see the grooves right there, right there. They are different than the ones that are on the other side, okay? So... I could not put this in this direction and actually have it slip in there, okay? And if I try, I'm going to damage the motherboard. And at the end of the video, I'm going to do this as a diagram, um, pictures, diagram, whatever, and show this again and also show you what kind of damage can be had. All right, so that is in there. And we just kind of want to, you know, feel around. Yeah, we're good. So, this cover right here, on different types of CPUs, these pop off easy. In this case, if we do that deal, it's going to pop off. You want to leave the cover on as long as you can to ensure no damage happens, okay? And I always, that always kind of freaks me out. I always like to take a look. Is my CPU still sitting right? Yes, it is. So, drop that in there. And make sure you apply a little pressure here to keep this thing down. Then we're going to grab our lever. And we're going to drop it down and around and back in. Okay. Hopefully you guys aren't seasick after that. So from here, folks, what I would do this is where you would then follow up with your thermal paste, uh, assuming you're ready, right? Depending on your type of mounting bracket, you might have to put the mounting bracket in first and then thermal paste. But this video is just, you know, putting the CPU in properly, all right? Uh, all kinds of ways you can put thermal paste on this. We're not going to get into that. Just wanted to go over the basics of installing a CPU with you. All right, so we'll move to the uh, the picture aspect of this so you can see some things in a different uh, different aspect. Thanks for checking this part of the video out. Let's move on.